Primary care research is, is uh, clinical research outside of hospital settings, so usually within general practice settings. And you can imagine that for us what that means is researching things that might be uh, early on in life, serious illness, recognising serious illness in children, uh, right through to issues for the elderly, um, how you can more effectively treat conditions that have quite a poor prognosis such as heart failure. I suppose what really motivates most of us is the fact that uh, much of our research might have very rapid impact for patient care um, so that you can see that health policy and what doctors do in their clinical practice changes as a consequence of our research. The sort of research we do uh, doesn't just uh, affect healthcare in the United Kingdom, uh, much of it also has international significance. Um, as countries get wealthier, um, the major causes of historical disease such as malnutrition and infection decline in many countries. So uh, the common problems in the United Kingdom, high blood pressure, high fats in the bloodstream, those sorts of problems are very important now for developing as well as developed economies and therefore our research has increasing international significance. I'd like to think that, that what we already do is provide some discrete answers to important questions about how we manage disease that commonly presents to, to people in the UK. Um, wider than that, I think that we do influence health policy in a number of broader areas. Um, we have the Centre for Evidence-Based Medicine based here in the department which is very influential in guideline development and producing a more evidence-based um, process of providing care at, a, at an organisational level. And we have uh, quite a significant impact in terms of how the public approach illness through our Health Experiences Research Group that provides a lot of really extremely carefully presented um, work available on the web that patients can access that talks about the sorts of illnesses that they may develop or may be developed in people they know or are related to. We all know that the NHS is under quite a lot of pressure. Um, we currently spend approaching 10% of our national wealth on delivering healthcare. That's actually ironically not a high percentage compared to other countries but it's still a very significant sum of money and I suppose what we would most want to be doing is is helping um, the system to make sure that, that the sorts of services it provides for patients are the most effective and the most cost efficient ways of delivering health care in cash constrained times.